Okay, guys, this video is basically just to show you <laughs> uh, the debunking um, of using Elmer's glue wall and also using the silicone water guard that's bought from your local today. Walmart um, along with acrylic yeah, paints and um, uh, Rust-Oleum glossy top coat. Today, so that's all that was used in this video. You like and the, um, as you can see, Elmer's if you watch it, blue, the paintings turned Elmer's out just as good as if you would use something medium, more expensive, like um, and, an actual um, paint medium for acrylic pores. See, so, different, hope um, you like the video. And, uh, like, you know, subscribe, and uh, makers, comment if and, you have any uh, questions or if you have any input to share. Thank you. And um, we want to do a matte finish on one. We're going to do two gloss finishes and we're going to use. Oh, oh, hi. Yes, I have a helper today. Gary, um, you say hi. Hi. Uh, hi. Uh. Um, <laughs> he's, he's my helper. <laughs> uh, so this is what we're going to use for um, the finish once it dries to give it a glossy look. Um, and then for the matte, we're just, we're just going to coat it with the uh, Liquitex Professional Matte Gel. And then um, that'll give it... You put that on the video. We're recording now, Gary. <laughs> um, <laughs> th this will be the final coat to change the one to a matte. We're hoping to get a really flat matte look for Gary's mother, Helen, who wants one for her living room. So, we have water to add. If need be, yes, it's in an alcohol bottle, but it is water. Um, this, yeah, we have holographic glitter and everything, all kinds of glitter. The silicone that we're using today is, like I said, this is a trial run. We are just experimenting to see, you know, what the outcome is going to be. It might work. It might not. Um... Uh, the whole point of this is just to have fun and be creative. So that's what we're doing. Oh, and we have straws. <laughs> I've got the straws to blow around the paint if need be. Um, we're each going to pick eight colors. Um, yeah, we're going to go a little bit above and beyond with the eight colors, but hey, uh, we have a lot of colors to choose from, so I think it'll be fun to do eight. Gary, you want to line yours up? Yeah. Keep talking. I got to explain to them what we're doing. Try to put that on the edge and close together because your canvas is going to come up here. Okay. So do it just like mine. So that your canvas can fit right in a line right by you. Right back here. By you. Oh, poopy. Go on. <laughs> just, just try to get it as close to you as you can because you need room for your canvas. And once they get the the glue in them and um, the paint in them, it they'll stay. They'll stay down. Then it's just because okay they're empty cups right now, so they're a little wobbly. Okay, so we're gonna hope and pray that we can uh, fit two canvases on here anyhow without um having a problem. I don't want them to merge together either. Okay, well, you know, if need be, we can always, you know, move a couple to the side or whatever if, if we need to. But anyhow, um, 
why don't you grab your canvas, don't knock your uh, cups over, take it out. You want to pop a hole in the back and get the plastic off? Yeah. Gary, just use your finger. I got it. Good job. Can you give me your plastic? Yep. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to open the glue. This is a fresh bottle of glue. Oh, it's glue, glue, glue. Glue, glue, glue. Um, we're just going to use the regular top to get it out because it'll make it easier for measuring purposes. I'm only going to put about mm, enough to fill up the bottom, maybe a half a centimeter, not much at all, because um, like I said, we're going to be uh, adding water to thin this out. Because I do think it's going to end up being too thick. I've seen some videos on YouTube about um, people experimenting with the glue. And <clears throat> I've actually seen quite a few that turned out. So I have high hopes for this because... I have my helper along with me and this is something that I've been wanting to do with him for quite a while now. Just been really busy and we didn't have time, so. We had to go get the cups anyhow. Yep, and then <laughs> <laughs> every time we went to do something, it's like we have to go get stuff because we don't have it, so. Yeah, it took a little while, but we're here now, so we get to play around and experiment and have a little fun. So, I'm going to finish doing this, and then I'm going to pass the glue over to Gary and let him fill his up. Gary, I'll show you exactly, like, where to fill it up to. Okay. You might have to kneel down like I did so you can actually see how much is in your cup. Okay. Because measurements on this do matter. Okay. Um, not that greatly, but matters a little bit. It does make a difference. So, mine are all just about good. I think full yet, Kelly. Um, uh, they're getting there. They're almost there. A little bit more. I don't okay. like this water. Why? I like iced tea better. Uh, water's good for you. So, this is where I filled it to, Gary. Right to this first line on the cup. Okay. Okay? The very first line. That's how much I put in my cup. Just enough to fill the bottom basically up. And I don't really want to move that around too much. I'm sorry. It's not that deep. It's just, it's flowing. So it is flowing pretty good, which is amazing. But it is flowing. So that's a good thing. And then after we put the glue in, we are going to start picking our colors. Um...
Yep, just squeeze until you get it to the bottom line. Okay. Okay. Do it to each one. All right. Um, I know I want to use pink. Important thing to do always is to shake up your paint before you use it. A lot of mine are not brand new. Some of them are brand new, but a lot of them aren't. They're from old projects and paint I've collected over the years. So even though they say like after a while, you know, don't use them, blah, blah, blah. I find that most of the time they're okay. And if you just shake them up, they tend to work okay. Also, I have used um, acetone or paint thinner to like, not a lot, just like a drop or two, just to thin up the paint if it gets too thick. But this is a uh, apple barrel and it's a matte acrylic paint. Kelly, can you help me with these, um, these cups? I don't really know what the name of this is, but it's something pink parfait. Pink parfait. Okay. Just squirt it right in the middle, Gary. Right, right in the middle. That's enough for that one. That one's good. That one's way good. Okay. Try not to squirt on the sides because then your measurements are not going to be right. You got to squirt it like in the middle. See? And sometimes when it it pours for so long. Oh, don't. I got it on my hand. Oh, you'll be fine, Gary. Okay. You well, got you to gotta use your muscles. Okay. You got muscles, right? Right, okay. okay. So right. You, so you got to use your muscles. You have to squeeze it hard, but you squeeze it in the middle until you get it up to that line. And then you go on to the next one. Here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Going to add some of my pink. See that came out a little little chunky, but we're going to work with it. There was a little bit of chunks in there, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh now, let's see. I like really bright colors. I'm into a lot of sparkle and glam. And which is why I actually have the sparkles out. Carrie, watch what you're doing. You're getting it all over your canvas. Okay. Um, that's why I have the sparkles out. Gary, go wash your hands. Okay, okay. You're going to wear gloves because... Okay, okay. I'm going to actually put gloves on myself. Go wash your hands. Okay. Soap. Make sure you use soap. Okay. That glue won't just come off unless you use soap. The soap is in the holographic dis glass dispenser. Okay. So... Technical difficulties. <laughs> we'll get it together. We will get it. Okay, got my gloves on. And these babies here, the Venom Steel gloves are the bomb. They are really good gloves. They're a little salty, but they're really good gloves. So, got my pink on. Where was I at? Okay, yeah, I'm going to use champagne. I'm going to actually bring you guys in a little bit closer now that you've seen our products. So, you can actually focus down on the canvases and on the paints um, and actually see what's going on here. Do you want me... You want me to put any more of that glue on? In every one of your cups, Gary. Okay. You need to get your glo gloves on first. Oh! 
Okay. 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 You still have this one to do. This one. You still have this one to finish. This one to finish. And this one to finish. Okay. Even though this is new, I'm still going to shake it up. This is a... Uh... I'm sure you've seen this before. I think you can buy this at your local Walmart. Folks are extreme glitter. Um, and this is in the champagne. It is 2836E. Superior coverage. Glitter finish. Acrylic paint. Yes. This is good stuff. And... Now with gloves on, this is going to be kind of tricky to get these open, the new ones, but we'll get there. That's why I have the handy dandy scissors. A handy dandy scissors. Handy dandy scissors. I'm going to put some of this in there. And like I said, you don't really need too much. Just a couple of drops usually goes a long way. Um, I'm an orange and pink kind of girl. I like orange and pink side by side. That's my favorite colors, actually. So, what? So, <laughs> we almost had an epic fail <laughs> right there. Um, okay, so this one is... Harvest Orange 20589. I'm sorry if there's a glare. Uh, maybe I can block that out. Uh, I don't know. Probably not. Harvest Orange. And this is Apple Barrel 2. It is. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. <laughs> okay. No, don't do it on there. No. You still need to put more in that one. And this one, this one. Watch what you're doing. Okay. Okay. Gary, you pour it in the middle. You have to squeeze the bottle. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead in with this blue. This is a uh, unopened, so I guess I got to open it. There you go. That was pretty cool. Even though it's new. Still shaking. Always shake your paint. Uh, this is the Folk Art 656 Blue Sapphire in metallic. That's a pretty color. I really like that. Really, really like that. Look at that. Look at that blue. Blue is beautiful. I mean, it is a pretty shiny. I'm a shiny kind of girl. Like I said, I like sparkles. I like everything that shines. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that shines. So yeah, I like that. I do like that. I like it a lot. Okay, next color for me. I think I'm gonna go with. Who should we? Who should we? You know what? 
This is a fluorescent glow purple. Okay, I think I'm gonna hit this in there. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. And it's a matte. It's a matte finish, but it won't be because it'll be gloss regardless because I'll go over it with the, um, with our, our gloss finish. Um, this is a uh, folk art in two, seven, two, E, two, O, E, zero, E. I apologize. Purple, um, fluorescent glow, superior coverage, matte finish. Yes. Okay, Kay, I'm done. Let me check, let me check your work here. Bud, you need a little bit more in there. Uh, yeah, might need a lot more in there. I would probably go over these ones again. You got to have enough in there to pour. Remember that. Because if you don't have enough in there, you only put a little bit of paint. You put more glue in there than paint. Paint, you only put a couple of drops. And that's it. Just a couple of drops. I got that on the sides. I didn't want to. Okay guys, so here all you're going to see, this is kind of, I sped this up a little bit so that you guys didn't have to waste your whole time, your whole day um, watching this video. However, I did want to at least include the titles of the paints that I used and the numbers so that if you guys wanted to go back and you wanted to see what exactly I used and how I used it, it would be here. Um, so all the numbers and all the exact uh, names and brands of the paints that I used are listed for your reference and for your reference only. So if you want to skip forward ahead and you don't want to watch this, go right ahead. Thank you.
So his are all poured. Um, I'll go ahead and take the phone out and I'll give you a close up of the paint as is in the um, cups right now. He's got the magenta, neon blue, the glow purple, glow green, um, the jet black, the sky blue, the jungle green, and the chocolate, um, the uh, chocolate brown and metallic. And then he had the um, the white here. And again, I have the white, the sil silver sterling metallic magenta pink with a holographic hologram i have the glow green mixed in with the limeade and then i had used the purple glow fluorescent um i use the uh metallic blue sapphire and then um the harvest orange i have the champagne and the Ooh, what pink did I use? Ooh, I think I used the pink parfait. So yeah, and I want to let you guys know that this is not something that I see many people do on YouTube, but I'm going to actually try it. I am going to... Ryan, this isn't even mine. <laughs> this is... Gee, epic God. fail! Epic fail! None of your paints fell, Gary, did they? Because we definitely don't want that. Oh, I don't care about those. We can pick those up later. All right, so I still have some to stir up. I'm stirring, 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 stirring. Gary, get your stir on. I got them all stirred. What about your white? I got that. Oh. And this is my white with my black glitter. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Okay. Bright and early. Okay. All right. Okay, I stirred it. Um check my first one again this was chunky to begin with I think ooh that's chunky I don't know if I like that what happened to our silicone, Gary? Silicone. Oh, it's over here. I am going to be crazy and just add a bunch of silicone to the pink. I'm trying to use any kind of liquid I can to get this to thin up. Because as it stands right now, I don't even know if I can use this. I'd hate to have to not use my pink. I like pink. I don't know if that worked. I don't think it did. That's too chunky to use. I can't use that. No, I can't use it. It's too chunky. I did stir it, Kelly. Okay, you know, every other one of mine actually is okay. Like, seriously, okay. All the rest of mine are okay. I'm going to just try to do that pink one more time. Because when I first did it, and I don't really want to waste time right now, but when I first did it, um, it had a huge chunk in it that actually squeezed into there. And I don't know if that's why it did that or not, but I am curious to try it again. I really wanted this pink really really wanted that pink and there ain't even a lot left so try this again see now it looks more smooth. I'm gonna be right here all right so I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna just start moving it around 
Gary, no, leave them there. No, put them in a different spot now. Put them in a different spot where it's white. Gary, put them in a different... Okay. So, just going to kind of move this around. Of course, I don't want to move it too much. And like ruin the little bit of cells that I do have but we do kind of got to get it to go over the edge unfortunately so it's gonna be blurred out a little bit but I like it I love the rainbowy look you know right I'm kind of, I'm digging it. So now I'm just going to go this way with it. It's good to prime your canvas first too, guys. Um, that makes it a lot easier to blend the sides when you are um, moving the paint. See, because like right there, it just did not want to go over in certain spots. Whereas if it would have already been primed, um, I think it would have looked a lot better. So, I'm just going to keep moving this. You can see what we got here. Not a ton of cells, but you know, I think a, a lot of the reason for that is because I used... Ooh, I'm dripping onto Gary's. <laughs> I used so many colors, you know, and I was kind of afraid that we would lose the colors by doing that. And uh, I was kind of right because we kind of did. But, you know, we kind of got a mauve color, but you live and you learn, you know, live and you learn. So, uh, I'm going to finish this off here, and then um, we're going to do Gary's next. So, I'm um, thinking that this is going to be it. I think I got it all covered. There's a couple spots on over here that kind of need to fall down to get there. A couple spots over here. I'm just letting it kind of find its way down there, helping it, of course. And then once we get there, um, you know, that's it. That's it. That's mine. Okay. Um, you gotta let that dry. Yeah, so I actually still see cells forming. Still. Which is nice because there's like pops of purple in there, and down here we got like little pops of blue and 
Yeah, I like that. I like it a lot. I think it turned out great. I am super happy with it. And I think the silicone that we used was perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. I don't think there was anything wrong with the silicone that we used at all. All right, gear. You ready? Yeah. I'm just touching this up a little bit. I'm not trying to take too long, I'm sorry. That'll give viewers more time to create cells anyhow, so you're more patient than me. I couldn't sit there. I'd be like, come on, Carrie, hurry up. It's my turn. I want to play. I want to play. <laughs> I'm probably way out of focus right now. I'm um, sorry, guys. I'm just like fixing up the last couple little areas that I don't really like or that are showing through one of the two. Definitely don't want no areas showing through at all. Um, yeah. So, I'm pretty sure that I'm done. There it is, guys. There is the final. That's it. I'm not playing with it no more. That's what you're getting. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> I think it turned out wonderful. I would not say that glue doesn't work because it obviously does. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to set this actually over here. Actually, I'm going to make a mess there. I don't want to make a mess there. Uh, hmm. Don't make a mess up the floor. All right. Gary's turn. Gary, I'm going to tell you right now. I absolutely love yours. Like, I really, really love yours. Really, 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 really love yours. Um... I, I don't know what you did different, but you have way more cells. He has way more cells. Um, it's it's really nice. So, Gary, you don't have no gloves on. I'm going to put my, put my gloves back on. Okay, we'll get them on. You need to move your paint around. Yes, I, I do. I honestly do. I really like yours. And I think with your mom's, we're going to have to use black as well. Okay, I got my glove back on. All right, so you're going to pick these up. They've leaked enough. I'm sure you're not going to get too much more out of them. Okay. You know? I'll try to get some over here. See how we kind of poured them. All right. Now you want to stay in the camera there. Pick it up. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Pouring it and covering your... Covering your, um, no, 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 no. You just, yeah, that's it. Now back, back, back. Not to the side. Actually, to the corner I would go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, and I got some on my jeans yet. Oh, yeah. Now you're going to go this way. And get it into this corner. You got to get it covered. Gary. No. <laughs> you don't touch it. Now you can touch it once it gets to the edge like this and you want to move that paint Gary you want to move that paint not seriously but just kind of tap it and move it so it falls there not smudging but just tapping it down Gary you just want to tap it down so it falls okay okay All right. see how I'm picking it up the paint and I'm letting it fall down I'm just making it move that's all I'm doing okay like that you're pushing it and smudging it though you okay. just pick it up and let it kind of fall by itself okay see how the color is still there and it's not smudged yes because you want to pick it up with your finger and just let it go by itself So anyhow, this is going to have to really move down this way because we got like no paint down here. I mean, there's some, but he needs, he needs more paint. Now, the way that this um, painting here is flowing is just amazing.